Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Daisy. In today's video, I will show you how to warp text in the free graphic design program Inkscape. With this text effect, you will be able to create beautiful and unique designs in SVG or PNG format for all your customization needs. If you have a Cricut machine, this warp text designs will be perfect to create custom items in without having to pay the Cricut Design Space membership, as their warp effect tool is for members only. If you don't have Inkscape yet and would like to give it a try, I invite you to download the software from inkscape.org. I also have several tutorials on my YouTube channel where you can learn how to use Inkscape. I will start with the tutorial, but before I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. Open Inkscape, go to File, click on Document Properties, select the size of documents you wish to work with. If you wish to work with letter size, select letter size. I am going to change it to inches and my working area is going to be 12 by 12 inches. Close the window when you finish with the measurements. To minimize the canvas, click on the minus sign on the lower right corner. Now I'm going to insert the text that I'm going to be warping. Click on the A on the left and then click on the canvas and start typing. I'm going to type line by line. Now I'm going to resize it. Select the first line, go to the measurement bar above, change it from millimeters to inches. Click on the lock to lock it and type the measurements. All the lines are going to be 6 inches wide. This font is called Bright Harmony. It's from Creative Fabrica. I'm going to link it in the video description below. Now select all the lines, go to Path, click on Object to Path, then go to Object, click on Ungroup, now select line by line, go to path and click on union. Do the same process for each line. Now I'm going to click on the square on the left and I'm going to draw a rectangle. The rectangle is going to be the same size as the first text line. Now select the rectangle, go to Path and click on Object to Path. Now click on the second arrow from top to bottom. Now you will be able to manipulate the rectangle. You can create curves like these ones on each side if you wish. Doing the same process, I'm going to create a custom shape for each text line. And here are the shapes that are going to guide us to warp the text. I'm going to change the color and I'm going to send them to the back. Now I'm going to show you how to warp the text. Select the text, go to Path and click on Path Effects. You're going to see this window on the right, click on the plus sign and here you're going to click on Lattice Deformation 2. Keep the text selected and click on the second arrow from top to bottom. You will be able to see a blue tracing and white and gray diamonds. Do not touch the gray little diamonds. We are only going to manipulate the white little diamonds to warp the text only the little diamonds that are on top of the blue tracing. Now I'm going to start with the little diamond on the left, on the bottom left, 
to create the curve on the bottom of the text. Now I'm going to go to the right corner. And little by little, I'm going to be warping the text to create the desired shape. And there is the first line of text already warped. I'm going to do the same with the rest of the text lines. I'm going to repeat the process, select the second line, go to the right to path effects, click on the plus sign, and here click on lattice deformation 2. Now click twice on the text and you will be able to see the blue tracing. And there it is, we already created a worked text design. Now I'm going to remove the shapes and put them on the side. You can save them for future designs if you wish. Now select all the text and go to align and align it center vertically. Now let's go to path and click on object to path. Now click on path again and click on break apart. Now either select all the lines or line by line and go to path and click on combine. I like to do it line by line so I can add a different color to each line. After combining, I am going to select each line again and I'm going to add color. And here is the complete design using the warp effect in Inkscape. Now I'm going to show you how to save it in PNG and SVG format. I'm going to start with the PNG format. Go to File, click on Export. You will be able to see a window on the right. Make sure you save it on 300 dpi so you can have a good quality design. Now click on the blue folder, open the folder where you wish to save the design, name it, and click on save. Now I'm going to show you how to save it in SVG format. Select it, go to file, click on save as, open the folder where you wish to save the design, and on the second line that says save type, you're going to select plain SVG. Now click on save. Now it's already saved on your computer and you can use it in other programs. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on how to create warp text designs. And please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.